Hello, my name is Daniel Lovell. I'm an audio solution specialist at Avid, and I'm going to take you through some of the improvements to the video engine in Pro Tools 2019. The latest version of Pro Tools 2019 introduces several improvements to the video engine, which allows audio professionals to work on the same high resolution video used in Media Composer within Pro Tools. This enables more accurate frame reference and reduces the need for transcoding, file format, or resolution conversions. Pro Tools now supports larger than HD video files for playback in the video window, as well as hardware devices that support those outputs, such as the Avid DNxiv and DNxiq. As 4K video, for example, becomes more commonplace in post-production, this will allow Pro Tools users and editors to exchange video files more easily, requiring less time for transcoding or making other HD outputs specifically for audio. Previously, Pro Tools would lock the raster size and frame rate together around a known preset or common ratio. Both raster and frame rate are now displayed independently and will change to suit the requirements for video output. Video will now display in its native resolution and frame rate within the capabilities of the engine. This allows the files to play as intended to support a range of projects such as web-based video, gaming, or new formats that become popular in the future. This also allows portrait, for example, and other non-standard sizes and aspect ratios outside of the previously supported 4x3 or 16x9. We've also made improvements to the performance of codecs. Specifically H.264, as this is a commonly used codec. The Pro Tools timeline now supports frame rates up to 120 frames per second. The main counter, grid, session setup, and other areas where frame rate is shown have been updated to display these frame rates, allowing for more accurate frame reference than the previous maximum of 30 frames per second. This also means that your timeline frame grids can match the actual frame rate of the video file. This support also extends to synchronization between Pro Tools systems and a media composer in a satellite link system at higher frame rates, but it still allows the equivalent SD frame rates to be referenced and transmitted for LTC, FITSI, and 9-pin. For more information, visit avid.com.